Oklahoma versus Iowa State, aka Turk, making Iowa bench their starting punter in favor of a man who balls out. Here's the game where Michael Turk finally gets to Michael Turk, and here is how it happens. The game opens up boring with a long scoring drop from the Cyclones, followed up by Oklahoma showing them how easy scoring actually is. And if this isn't an allegory for what's about to happen in the punting game, I don't know what is. So Dunn, the punter, gets out on the field and shows a little directional prowess, but comes up short, putting them only at the 12-yard line. Uh, not a very gutsy kick if you ask me, but I digress. Turk comes up a few plays later and was like, Oi Mike, I heard you like punting footballs. Check this out. Turk starts, starts at the 5-yard line and crushes one all the way inside the other 20 for the Cyclones and Oklahoma's announcers are just getting too comfortable because listen to how relaxed they sound about this unreal 62 yard boot. He'll backpedal, fielding it at the 19. So he makes 60 yard punt sound routine which is just uncalled for and honestly quite offensive to myself. But anyway, Mr. Dunn steps back out on the field and hits a little directional 41 yarder that gets, you know, a little bounce and, you know, that's fine. It's just not sexy and quite frankly, I'm not the only one who thought that because this will be Dunn's last punt of the game. After this, Mr. Hangtime steps out on the field and was like, Oi, you remember that short field punt you had? Yeah, let me show you how it's actually done. Boom. Hit. End of a Bounces out the 7, down inside the 10 with good direction. Thank you. Show's over. At this point, the Cyclones are like, okay, yeah, done is done, which means we need to bring out our secret weapon, Andrew Mother Mevis. Please, Mr. Mevis, show us that you can do something spectacular. Uh, yeah, okay, you know, how about looping up the football to ensure, you know, no return? Okay, yeah, hey, I guess that's good enough to earn a starting spot. Turk comes back on after that and, you know, hits a little 48 yarder and Although I can't quite see where the ball's going, I'm gonna put money that it's a little half, you know, half turnover, slight miss hit, still kind of spiraling, uh, just due to the way that the returner's kind of fading right as he's making the catch. So if you see this Turk, let me know if that's the kind of hit that you had right there. All in all, not a bad punt though. But hitting a miss hit in a game is like chumming the water for punters. So Mevis is like, oh yeah, yeah, time to turn it on. Boom, 55 yard punt and put some more magic on it so it just sits, sits at the one yard line. Now I'm a punter, so I know. This was 200% not on purpose, but was it still sexy? Absolutely. So that leaves Turk all the way backed up in his end zone and has a chance to unload on it. And this one is hit pretty clean with a nice 56 yard boot and a short return. Uh, but at the end of the day, maybe he could have, you know, maybe could have done a little bit better on direction there. Uh, the camera angle really isn't isn't that great, so it's not helping me figure out if that's where he was trying to kick it or not. It looks like he might have shifted to the right to punt it back to the left, um, but potentially they could just be trying to get it off quick, so down the middle was probably fine. But regardless of where it was supposed to be, there was some phenomenal coverage and some phenomenal tackling done, so the hit was made shortly after. Melvis the Dawn steps back on the field looking to show off his directional skill and absolutely does. Donging one, 45 yards out of bounds, no chance for return. This may seem like boring punting, but it does something to my little boy parts that it just shouldn't. This next part is what everybody loves to see. Turk lines up in a must hit punt with two minutes left in the game, up by one score, and he absolutely Dongs, another 61 yarder. And for everyone who's ever blamed punters for hitting too far down the middle of the field, here's just one I wanna show you. The returner takes two steps, and what do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six Sooners in his face, literally foaming at the mouth to make that tackle. Perfectly fanned out, getting off their blocks, giving the returner no room. This, this is the epitome of punting. This is what we love to see. Forget all the crappy directional stuff. Forget the crappy end over end drop punts that are short and high. Kick the piss out of the ball and then go make the tackle. Gosh dang it. If they can do it on kickoffs going 67 yards with 3.8 seconds of hang, you could do it on punts going half as far with easily 0.5 more seconds of hang. 
Anyway, Iowa never recovers from this. The last play was a pass that was intercepted inside the 10. So if Turk was just 20 yards shorter on that punt, perhaps Iowa State is trying to run it in and maybe successfully doing it so. Anyway, just a beautiful game of punting from both sides. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.